Okay, now in this video, I am going to show you how to make your Bitmoji Classroom your background in your Zoom meetings, which is actually really fun. So to start, what you need to do is you need to open up the Bitmoji Classroom that you made, and you don't want yourself in it. So you're gonna go ahead and just move yourself away for a moment, and you're going to take a screenshot of your Bitmoji Classroom. Now, again, if you're working from a work um, computer, you're gonna use the snipping tool in the search bar down here. Um, if you're using a Mac, use Shift-Command-4. Mac users probably know that. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and take a picture of your Bitmoji Classroom. Okay, and then you can move yourself back because remember, if someone's ever viewing this slide for Monday, if you um, post it to your Google Classroom, they'll be able to, you'll be gone. If you move it here, it's, it's whatever's here is what shows up in your Google Classroom. Okay, so now on to the Zoom cool feature to set this up. So, and unfortunately you're probably gonna see my face here, but anyway, you're gonna open up Zoom and you're gonna make a new meeting. And oh, look, I have, um, I'll just do that. Okay. Now, I don't know why I have that background on. So normally, um, when I was doing this, teaching and doing Zooms, this is what my background looked like. I am in my bedroom. I've got, I'm married to a teacher. I've got four kids that are also in different Zooms. So there, we don't have a lot of space. We don't, so this was kind of my classroom where I was teaching my lessons. So um, in order to make it a little more fun, this is how you're going to change your background. So once you get into Zoom and you've tested your picture like you just saw me do, um, down here it says to stop video. You're going to click on that arrow and it says to choose a virtual background. So you're going to pick that. And then these are the different virtual backgrounds and you've probably seen some of your students use them. They're in outer space or you know, the Golden Gate Bridge was a big one. Um, but you're gonna be able to go ahead and upload a different virtual background. So to do that, you're gonna hit on this plus where it says add image or video. Oops. And then I'm going to choose my Bitmoji classroom. And now here, so this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose it. So now when you see me, this is what it looks like. Now, if for some reason your background is not the right way, because when I first did this, it wasn't. I just want to show you how to do that. Um, mirror video. So see, that's what kind of flip flops it. So if for some reason your stuff is backwards, you're just going to hit the mirror my uncheck the mirror my video and then you should be good. So that's it. So this is a lot more fun to talk to your students this way. Um, plus you can have a little privacy if you want to be outside or you know if you got laundry in the background which I often do or dogs running around um, they won't see that. They'll just see this great classroom that you created. So I hope you have fun. Um, I know our district is moving to Google Meet. I'm not as familiar with that yet um, but We'll all get there together and hopefully there's an option, I'm sure there is, um, to change backgrounds. But anyway, have a great day and thanks for checking out the videos. See ya.